<laughs> Leo Rossi. Hi, Karen. Hi, uh, Ken, uh, Rabbi Karen. <laughs> And over here, I didn't see anybody yet. Okay. And Robert. Yeah, la 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 I'm on page three. Okay, yes, I. The site is looking wonderful, absolutely wonderful, and I love it. Thank you. And let's see who else is here. Uh, Samir. 
and Mahi. Yes, I'm sorry I couldn't I couldn't uh, answer your your call. I don't take video chats, and I'm I do chat. I chat text, but not uh, video. And uh, this is so neat. Yeah, it's great. All righty. The Barhu. Barhu et Adonai Hamivorak. Baruch Adonai Hamivorak Leolam Vaed. Praise be the one to whom our praise is due. Praised be the one to whom our praise is due, now and forever. Ahavad Olam, page 5. Your love has embraced us always. In wilderness and promised land, in good times and in bad. Night and day, your Torah sustains us. Reviving the spirit, delighting the heart, informing the soul, opening the eyes, granting us a glimpse of eternity. Because of your love, we shall embrace Torah night and day in devotion and delight. Beloved are you Adonai, whose Torah reflects your love. The Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Machuto Leolam Vaed Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai alone. Praise be God's glorious sovereignty throughout all time. Ve'ahavta, page 7. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha v'hayu ha'devarim ha'ele Asher anokni mitzavecha hayom al levavecha v'shilantam levanecha v'dibarta abam v'shivdecha b'veteka u'v'lekteka v'derech u'v'shochvecha u'v'kumecha u'ksharatam leot al yadecha v'hayu letotapot b'inecha Uchtavtam <laughs> Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem Emet. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And these words which I command you this day, you shall take to heart. Teach them diligently to your children and recite them at home and away, night and day. Bind them as a sign upon your hand and as a reminder above your eyes. Inscribe them upon the doorposts of your homes and upon your gates. Then you will remember and observe all my mitzvot and be holy before your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I, Adonai, am your God, who is truth. Adonai Eloheichem emet. Nicha mocha. Nicha mocha ma'ilim Adonai. Nicha mocha ne'er 
در با کودش نارتهی لود او سیفله او سیفله بیگا بوگا بایلی مادونای بیگا بوگا ندار با کودش Who is like you, Adonai, among all that is worshipped? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, working wonders? Hashkivenu. O oh God, you are our consolation to your creatures, for in moments of forgetting, we but call to mind your care, and we are comforted. When we hope no more, a pattern in the snow reminds us of your loving kindness. Your dawns give us confidence, and sleep is a friend. You are here. We fail words to say, not hope. Baruch Adonai, Ha-Bore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael Ve'al Yerushalayim Praised are you Adonai, who spreads the shelter of peace over us, over all the people of Israel, and over Jerusalem. Amen. <laughs> Tush bechata v'nek amata Dami iran be'alma V'imeru amen Yamida Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Ve'elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak Ve'elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah Ha'il ha'gadol ha'imo ve'anoro El Elyon Komeo kasadim tovim vekone hakol vezocher kasei avot limahot ume vigula livne vnehem leman shemo beava melek uzer umoshia umagen darukata adonai magen Avraham vezlat sara. Ata gibole olam Adonai, mechaye hakol ata, rav lehoshia, morid ata. Mechake hachayim bechesed, mechaye hakol rakamim rabim, somet nofelim zerofe cholim, umatir asurim, umet 
Please take a moment to say a prayer from your heart. Sam has joined, and Bobby Khan, and Daniel Vincent, and Irene, welcome back, and Salim. The uh, Kari Shalem, page 16. Yit kadav yit kadash me raba, be amadi brakirute be amnik machute. Uh, the prayer service, what am I saying? Uh, Torah service. Welcome, Ken. I see you. Shalom. Bahu et Adonai Hamevorach. Bahu et Adonai Hamevorach. Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Bikol HaAmim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Im Chafetz Banu Adonai 
והביא אותנו אל הארץ הזאת ונתנה לנו ארץ אשר היא זבת חלב ודבש אך ברנה אל תמרודו ואתם אל תראו את עם הארץ כי לחמנו הם. סר צילם מעליהם לאדוני איתנו אל תיראו ויאמרו כל העדה לרגום אותם באב, באבנים וכבוד אדוני נראה באוהל מועד אל כל בני ישראל. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה Okay, we're in Numbers 14, starting with verse 8. Uh, if pleased with us, Adonai will bring us into that land, a land that flows with milk and honey, and give it to us. Only you must not rebel against Adonai. Have no fear, then, of the people of the country, for they are our prey. Their protection has departed from them, but Adonai is with us. Have no fear of them. As the whole community threatened to pelt them with stones, the presence of Adonai appeared in the tent of meeting to all the Israelites. <laughs> Uh, in the face of Moses and Aaron's temporary abdication of leadership, Joshua and Caleb assume responsibility. They staunchly articulate the outcome of the mission will be determined by Israel's God, not by military fortitude. The extent of the people's rebellion is evident by their readiness to stone Joshua and Caleb. It is only the sudden appearance of God's presence before the people that saves them. They rent their clothes. This act, which happened just before I started reading, a sign of grief and mourning probably took the place of mutilating one's self with gashes and the like, which is a biblical prohibition. Tearing one's garment is an ancient custom that has survived to the present day. In the Bible, for example, King David's daughter Tamar rends her garments, puts dust on her head, and cries loudly, grieving after her half-brother Amnon rapes her. Uh, God punishes the community for its lack of faith. God is prepared to eradicate all Israel in a plague, with the exception of Moses, from whose descendants God proposes to create a new nation. Since the sins surrounding the scouting expedition and the golden calf are the only two events eliciting such severe divine retribution, it seems that their gravity is compar comparable. As in the past, Moses intercedes on behalf of the people. He argues first that God's reputation among the nations as a most powerful deity 
must be preserved. His second argument appeals to God's attributes of mercy, just as he did with the golden calf. Moses talks about all of God's wonderful attributes. Uh, what Caleb and Joshua did um, didn't work. The high friend, the um, It is also suggested by, by our rabbis that while the sin of the golden calf resulted in our observation of our observance of uh, Yom Kippur to atone for not only that sin but all of our others, uh, this particular mess that uh, the ten, 10 spies made resulted in the um, there having to be 10 people present for to make a minion because it would take 10 people to absolve us of what we did wrong then in in listening to the ten spies that gave a false report rather than Joshua and Caleb. Uh, so we are constantly, whenever we have to say, whenever we want to say the most holy parts of our service, the Barhu, the Kedusha, um, Kaddish, any of the Kaddishot, um, all of those particularly holy moments in our service, we must have a quorum, which is considered what we call a minion. They have to be 10 people. And it's, we, we, we consider those 10 people as the representatives of the 10 spies. That's all I am going to say. I will say lots more on at my service, and I'm sure Rabbi Blaine will will talk about it tomorrow night for Shabbat, as I will. Um, and we will go to the Aleinu. I have I will do my service at six o'clock for Beit Halev, six o'clock my time on the Pacific Coast, which would be nine o'clock your time, Rabbi Blaine, and. Oh, let's see. What, what did she say? Sue said, I like Moses' argument. What would the neighbors think? Yes, yes, I like that. Um, it was, what would the world think? Really, not just our neighbors, the whole world, because our neighbors were the world to us. And what would they not, not think of us, of, of, of necessarily Moses, but of God? God would get a bad rip. Okay. Uh, and I will do services uh, with a Torah service on Saturday at 10.30 my time, which would be 10.30 your time, Rabbi Blaine. <laughs> okay. Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet gedula liotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu ki goye ha'aratzot Velo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vekor aleinu kechol ha'amonam V'anachnu korim U'mishtakavim u'modim Lifne melek mache hamelakim hakadosh baruchu.
And Sue says, yep, Moses told the king that God would build a great nation. If he destroyed everyone, the kings would, yeah. What would they say? <laughs> Pay, okay, wait a minute. Oh, I can't see the page number. Page 18. We rise to our duty to praise the master of all, to acclaim the creator. God made our lot unlike that of other people, assigning to us a unique destiny. We bend the knee and bow, acknowledging the Supreme Sovereign, the Holy One, exalted, who spread out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. The name of the Ayadonai, the Melical Kol Haaretz, Such is the prophetic assurance, Adonai shall be acknowledged ruler of all the earth. On that day, Adonai shall be one, God's name one. And a prayer on behalf of the sick. Those of you who wish can write in the names of those that you want remembered for healing today, and I will give you my list right now. Stephen Howard Katz, Nancy Maggio, Pat Pavlak, Pat Kojak, Rabbi M's husband, Guntram, Ken Delansky, Ray Geierman, Helene Goldberg, Judy Heller, Lou and Charlotte Moskowitz, Harry Boxer, Susan Madelon, Ellen Harmon, and Susan from Durham, Shindel Bat Sharon. And the names you want to remember, Judy, are Dan, Don, David, Marcus, Carol, Al, Roberta, Alicia, Shindel Bat Sharon. And Sue, Sue Marie, uh, Ilanka, Mark, Marvin, Marlene, Robert, and Dorothy. And Susan, Mayor Ben Sorka, Schindel Bat Sharon, and Hannah Bat Schindel. That's your daughter, isn't it, Hannah? We are grateful, O oh God, for the gift of life and for the healing powers you have implanted within your creatures. Sustain our loved ones through these days of illness with the courage and fortitude they need to endure weakness and pain. Help us to find ways to show our love for them so that we may be an influence for good in their time of need. And may all who suffer illness of body or mind know that you are with them giving them strength of spirit as they struggle to recover. May their afflictions soon be ended, and may they return in health to family and friends. I'm so sorry, Susan, that she has that. I think I read that on another uh, 
one of the chats, and I'm so sorry. Nisha Berach. Nisha Berach, Avotenu, Nekor Habracha, of strength who blessed the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Baruch atah Arunai, Rofei HaCholim. Blessed are you, Arunai, who heals the sick. And you say the mourner's Kaddish, when we remember those who have passed us, gone on ahead, and have lit the way for us. If you are observing a yard site tonight, or if you are in mourning, as I think um, Susan is observing yard site, or she's in mourning for her mom, who passed away in November. And okay, it's Chak. I hear you. Uh, yes, Sharon bat neti v'simcha. And those of you who are also in mourning or observing yard site, or if you wish to say Kaddish for those who have no one to say Kaddish for them, please, if you wish, you may join me. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei raba v'alma divrach yurute v'amlich malchute v'chayi chon v'yom yichon v'chayi d'kol beit Yisrael v'agala v'yizman kariv v'imru amen. Yehe shemei raba mevarach v'alm ulal mei almaya yit barach v'yishtabach Viet pa'ar viet romam viet nase, viet adar viet alev viet alav, shemei de kudisha berich hu. Le'ela min ko birchata vishirata, tush bechata v'nechemata, da amiran be'alma v'imru amen. And Judy, you are also observing a yard site for Lillian Brodkey, or if you are in mourning, I think, and David Sterling. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru amen. I'm going to uh, close with the angel blessing. Yitzchak and Ephron 
May the angels bless you as well. May our right hand bring us closer to our godliness. May our left hand give us strength to face each day. And before us, may our visions light our paths ahead. And behind us may well-being heal our way. Thank you, Ken. All around us is Shekinah. All around us is Shekinah. All around us is Shekinah. All around us. for being part of my world. Thank you for being part of Sim Shalom's world. And join Rabbi Steve and or me tomorrow night. And I'll be here on Saturday as well. And uh, Laila Tov. Laila Tov. Erev Tov. Um, Shavua Tov. And Shabbat Shalom.